Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. And uh, this is for Shadow of Mordor. I promised you guys who are playing on the PC a fix for the toggle stealth problem. In Shadow of Mordor, I don't know why they did this, but they decided to make the stealth button a hold down button. Most games have it where, you know, if you have the character crouched and you want him to go into stealth mode, you simply tap the button and you toggle down into stealth mode and you don't have to hold down to keep him in stealth mode. And then you tap the stealth button again to get him out of stealth mode. Um, for some reason in Shadow of Mordor they decided not to make it a toggle instead they make it so that you have to hold down the stealth button all the time in order to keep Talion in stealth mode which is really encumbersome uh, on the PC version I don't know how uh, bad that is on consoles but on the PC version it's a total pain in the arse so here's a fix for that problem you have to install a, a special program called Auto Hotkey so go to Google Type in auto hotkey. This is a program I've been using for over a dozen years. It's perfectly safe. Should be the top results here. Click on that and you get to the auto hotkey website. Download auto hotkey and install it. Once you've got it downloaded and installed, go to your Windows desktop. Once you're at your Windows desktop, right click anywhere on the desktop and look for new and scroll on down here look for auto hotkey script this will create a new auto hotkey script name it whatever you like let's call it stealth you can call it mordor whatever make sure that you keep the AHK extension you've now created a new auto hotkey script right click on this and click on edit script this will open up the script in Windows Notepad and this is what you get by default you can delete this so now you have an empty script. Now go to the Windows or the video description, okay, of this video and copy and paste the code I have indicated there into your um, new auto hockey scripts. Okay, okay, so go to the video description, all the code that I have indicated there, copy it into here. There we go, copy it in, delete the empty space at the top. Now scroll on down to this line here there's three instances of stealth in this code one two and three you're going to replace all three instances of stealth with whatever key you want to use for stealth um, I typically use the V key let's say you use the left shift key for all the letters on the keyboard just simply type in the letter that you want to replace it as so if you want to use the A key type in A make sure it's lowercase uh, I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but I'm I always use lowercase. Uh, if it's you know the B key, type in B, and replace all instances of stealth with the letter you want to use. Or let's say you want to use left shift, which is something uh, people commonly use. Type in capital L, capital S, S, H, I, F, T. Okay, let's use that as an example. Left shift, and you're going to replace all instances of stealth in this code with left shift. So there we go. Two and three. And that's it. Then go up to here, save the file, and you're done. Quick rundown of what this code does. The top four lines basically is to optimize the script. I'm not an expert on auto hockey, but I can look at the script and generally figure out, you know, because I have a lot of scripting experience. You know, with JavaScript, PHP, uh, HTML, stuff like that, with web, web development scripting. So I can look at the script and pretty much figure out, um, generally speaking, what's going on. Top four lines are to optimize any auto hockey script. This line here says that whenever Shadow of Mordor is running, this script will run. All right. The next four lines say that whenever you press the uh, left shift button, it will act as if it's depressed all the time whenever you press it again it will act as if it's not pressed so basically you've turned your left shift button into a toggle right and this line here says that whenever, whenever shadow of mordor is not running this script will not run so that's it save the file shut the, uh, close, close the window and all you have to do now is click on your stealth ahk auto hockey script to run the script. Now it's running. Now it's waiting for input. Whenever Shadow of Mortar starts up, the left shift button will become a toggle. Whenever, whenever Shadow of Mortar shuts down, 
left shift button will not be a toggle and all your Windows keys will re will function as normal. So basically you can start this script up as soon as you start Windows and just have it running all the time and it will automatically kick in whenever Shadow of Mordor um, is running. And that's it. You're done. Now you, you can play Shadow of Mordor and whenever you press the left shift key as long as you have that hooked up to stealth um, your stealth key is now a toggle stealth. All right. Now, if you want to see if auto hotkey is running or not, so let's say you forgot whether you have it running or not, go and look down in the bottom right corner of your Windows. Look at the taskbar and you'll see this green H. That indicates that there is a auto hotkey script running. And it'll even give you the name of the script. All right. You can also right click on this and click on exit to exit the script altogether. That's how you can completely exit the script. Okay, now auto hockey is no longer running. Now be advised that this will create some problems with ground executions because to do a ground execution you have to press the stealth button and the attack button pretty much simultaneously. The ground execution button first and then the, the uh, or rather the stealth button first and then the attack button shortly afterwards. Okay, let's try it on this guy. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Jeez. Why did you get your attention? Come over this way. Okay, let's see if we can knock him down. Hit a guy enough and he eventually can knock him down. There you go. Ground execution. Now watch what happens to Talion. He goes back to stealth mode because stealth is now toggle. You see? Now when you're doing this in the middle of melee combat, this could really leave your arse hanging in the breeze. Okay, so um, if you're going to use toggle stealth, pretty much abandon the idea that you're going to be able to do ground executions. Because uh, I found that, uh, yeah, it's a real pain in the arse. Let's try this again. But you can do it without ground executions. Maybe okay, actually didn't kill that guy. Ground execution, and now I'm in. See, now I'm in stealth mode. You see. Now be advised that one thing you can do in stealth mode is counter. So to get out of it, just get ready to counter because the guys are going to come after you. You know. That's one thing about ground executions comparing ground executions to the regular execution. This execution here cannot be interrupted. Ground executions can be interrupted. So they will come for you as you're doing a ground execution. They can even interrupt it. And by the time you get your ground execution completed, you're going to be left in stealth mode. And you can't do anything while you're in stealth mode. You know, you can't do any of your regular moves. Doing a walkthrough here. Yeah, you can't do race stun. Uh, you know, there's a lot of moves that you can't do while you're in stealth mode. But you can do counter. So that's one way of getting out of that. I'm just going to run away from this guy because I don't feel like dealing with him. So yeah, that is one little handicap you have to deal with when you toggle stealth. Alright, so that's it. Um, thanks a lot for watching and I hope I helped you out with um, making Shadow of Mordor a lot more playable on the PC version now that you can toggle stealth. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. Alright, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.